Salt is an open-world pirate exploration and adventure game. That's directly from the Steam store page. Pirate? This guy is a madman hopping from island to island, killing anyone who gets in his way. I've murdered so many people now. Oh, okay, sure, they attacked me first, but that just makes me think we're in some sort of giant experiment where all the crazies live. Why is everyone trying to kill everyone? This doesn't make any sense. Perhaps that's just the way I played. The game is so open-ended, I think you can do whatever you want. The gist is that you wake up and a stranger has murdered a pirate, but not you. Lucky you. Take anything the pirate has and a few more supplies, rebuild the raft conveniently left at the shore, and you're off. The stranger kinda mentions maybe finding an inn if you want. I found myself island hopping, just exploring the world. This is actually one of the only games I felt completely comfortable wandering around. It's almost relaxing. There is no map but the one you have to write yourself, and there's just no choice but to amble around and hope for the best. There are several different kinds of islands you can find. Some of them have hunting challenges, quest givers, shops, and a lot of pirates. I'm certain I haven't found them all yet. As far as I can tell, if an island has pirates, that's all you're going to find on it. Which can be rewarding, since pirates can have a ton of loot. I've gotten some of my best gear from raiding a pirate village. It's exciting to land on an island and see a fire in the distance. Creep up on it with your sword drawn to see what's waiting for you. Salt does something weird with the islands though. On the pirate islands, there is a special chest that will unlock after you defeat all the pirates on the island. It will also mark all the pirates to make it a little easier for you, even though the markers are super small and difficult to see. Anyway, this kind of ruins it for me because it makes the island completely safe after my murder spree. But it's not that type of game. It's a somewhat relaxing and casual experience. The goal isn't to keep you in a state of fear. I can appreciate that, but it removes some of the discovery for me. My favorite part of the game are the boats. The sailing feels great. I have no idea how to steer a real boat, but to me, this feels like how a boat should handle. The starter raft may just have a rudder, but the next ship I built had a wheel. After that, I was a real sailor. Zipping around between islands is fun, but even on longer journeys, I was always looking to the horizon to see what's coming. Be aware that some of the trips can be a little bit too long. There is some downtime, so be prepared to hang out and read all the books in your inventory, or take some time to do a little crafting. I've talked about the boats I used, but there are plenty more in the game. Why would you even want a bigger boat? Because it holds stuff that you can craft to put on it. Hell yeah, they have boat customization. This is exactly what I wanted. There are useful things like chests and torches, but also decorative items. Also, getting a giant boat isn't an impossible task. I found a wreck that I can repair soon with a few more items. Most of the time, you happen to be walking by the materials you need while exploring an island anyway. Grabbing them is so easy. I think Salt could have gotten away with prolonging the ship upgrades, but they don't. I really appreciate that. It's nice that if you want a larger boat, it's completely possible to do. As for other things to do in Salt, well, there's all kinds of quests. I'm currently in a quest chain to join the Sea Scholars and the Fishing Guild. Those are the nice people I stumble upon in the world. Also, those pirates aren't going to murder themselves, and they have quest items. I found some ruins, I'm not sure of their power. There are bosses in the game, but I haven't found them yet. As for the inn, I'm still searching. However, pirates had a few maps on them, and I've been investigating those. This is one of those games that takes hours and hours to find everything. Another great aspect of Salt is the map. Because of the map, I think we can safely say that Salt is the very definition of an adventure game. It's not filled in for you. No, 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 that would ruin everything. You start with a completely blank map that you need to fill in yourself. You'll need a sextant, though, to know your location. After that, you can start placing islands on your map with rudimentary markers to remember what was there. This paired with a compass, and you're actually ready to start really navigating the world instead of just wandering around. 
Initially, I was missing an autofill map, but this is so much better. The map system makes the game. It would be just a sailing game otherwise. One thing to note is that you don't have to sail alone. Multiplayer is one of the features that was added during the early access because of the demand. I'm really excited to get a friend in here because how can I have such a big ship alone? You can have cannons on the ship and while I haven't used them yet, it's something I look forward to greatly. How could I possibly steer and fire the cannons at the same time? I think where Salt is going to have problems selling people is the graphics. There's no way around it, they are cartoonish, and it's not my favorite style, but it works well. Everything is clear, and it's a very bright and colorful world. The game isn't about hyper-realism. Hell, you can't even die from starvation. It's about living a dream of exploring the seas. I think the game's aesthetics fit that theme. With mechanics this good, I can't let the graphics get in the way. Also, I realize the combat is incredibly simplistic. I don't think that's the focus of the game, so it makes sense to me. Salt more than makes up for it in the quantity and diversity of its items. The merchants have all kinds of items that require different currencies, but I saw interesting weapons and armor. Overall, I think Salt set out to create an open world pirate exploration game in 2014, and I think they've done it. Three years has done this game wonders, it's fantastic. Sure, playing alone can get a bit lonely and there's a ton of sailing, but I can't stop playing. Step foot on a new island and who knows what's going to be there. If you like exploring a large open world, then this is definitely something you should consider. Grab a friend and set sail. Thanks for watching.